So the Neil Smith National Wildlife Refuge is one of my favorite places, I think, in Iowa. Uh, I'm a big prairie guy. I love my prairies. And this is one of the larger uh, prairie areas in the state. And it's a short drive from the Des Moines Metro. So it's really, really nice. Um, I've driven through a lot. I've hiked around a lot. And I've always wanted to take my bike out on the roads and get a feel for what that's like. I've seen a lot of people biking. Um, they've got a lot of paved bike trails along the main road, but also lots of little detours down all the side gravel roads you can take. So let's have at it. In terms of biking on here, there's about, there's a four mile stretch uh, that's paved and there's a paved bike trail along the side. And that's really nice if you got a road bike, uh, but it's only four miles down. And if you go back uh, to your car, if you park at that kind of the main entrance kiosk, uh, that's only like an eight mile bike ride trip, which, you know, that might be all you need. But if you want to make a little bit more out of it, you can actually start uh, in Prairie City and that'll add a couple miles to it. So we're talking maybe 10 miles of paved trails if you start from Prairie City and right on in. If uh, you have a gravel bike or a mountain bike, you can start diverging off that main road and start heading down some gravel paths. So the actual refuge is a lot, lot bigger um, than just what you can see from that main paved road. There's a lot of different, what they refer to as management units, uh, kind of interspersed around. And if you have a gravel bike or a mountain bike, you can add probably another 12 miles on there. So if you have a capable bike that you can take on a gravel road, um, you could get maybe around, I don't know, 25 uh, miles out of this trail. And those side stretches I think are often overlooked, but they're they're really, really beautiful too. So don't don't forget about those side paths to check out all the other uh, management units that they have there. A lot of the management units that you will ride by if you go on the, the site gravel roads, they're kind of interspersed with some agricultural land, but it's, it's still really, really beautiful nonetheless. The gravel depends on weather conditions, obviously, but most of the times I've been on them, they um, are really, really nice. Uh, there were a few washout spots that got a little dicey if you're going fast, but as long as you take it slow. Uh, I don't think that's normal. This was right after we had some heavy rains in the area. Um, otherwise, it's just your standard Iowa gravel road. There's a few other little lookout spots 
that you can kind of pull off and take a break, hike around on. I tried one out on my bike. Uh, it just said no motor vehicles, and <laughs> it was a little rough. There were some deep gravel spots my tires got stuck in, so I don't necessarily recommend uh, trying these little side paths that are open to walking through. Uh, it was beautiful, but it definitely probably wasn't worth the hassle. Uh, I'd recommend just sticking to uh, the gravel roads, wherever they're nice, or the paved trails. Uh, kind of cool to get out and hike, though, if you're into that. aspects of this National Wildlife Refuge is the bison area. Huge area of land set aside and they've got one of the few remaining uh, conservation herds of bison in North America. Definitely check it out. The day I was there I could see maybe 32 of them just hanging out to the right of the tree there. Uh, kind of tough to see on this video but uh, it was amazing. If you can pack some binoculars uh, you might be able to see some from the road that you can bike to like I was. Definitely do not ride your bike into the bison area. Uh, go in your car after your ride or before your ride. It's a beautiful stretch. There's also some elk that hang out in there too. Kind of a fun side note is sometimes they get out, I guess. But they assured me it was big enough that uh, it's really posing no threat to people. Now remember, this is a wildlife refuge. This isn't a zoo, so uh, don't be stupid if you go in the bison area and definitely check it out and only go in your car so you don't get trampled to death. This is the Oak Savannah Restoration Area. In a lot of Iowa's forests used to be this, these giant old oaks, kind of widely spaced out with not a lot of underbrush underneath. Awesome forest, this is one of my favorite ecosystems. And there's a few remnants left, and there's a few people doing restoration projects around Iowa, but man, we need more of these. It just, it's gonna take time. Really, really cool stuff. I love these ancient old oak trees. I love them. Now you're not allowed to ride your bike on these hiking trails, so I just kind of walked mine through. It was a nice place to stop, get some shade. The trails that they have for hiking out at Neil Smith, I think there's maybe three or four of them, depending on how you loop them around. This one is one of my favorites just because it highlights the Savannah area. But there's a couple longer ones over by the Nature Center, and then there's another one um, just past the Nature Center that's kind of hard to find, and it's really, really short. So definitely check them out. Uh, again, you can't ride your bikes on these hiking trails, but they're short enough that you could just walk your bike alongside you like I did. But they're definitely worth your time to check out. enjoyed my time biking around at Neil Smith National Wildlife Refuge. Prairies are beautiful, made you kind of feel like you're out in 
I don't know, Wyoming or something, cruising down the highways uh, with the rolling hills. Uh, the visitor center has bathrooms, it's got water, it's got some really nice educational displays. Um, just make sure that if you want to use those facilities, you're biking when it's actually open. So check the times before you head out. So I highly recommend taking your bike out, hitting the paved trails and the gravel at Neil Smith National Wildlife Refuge. Mm -hmm.